Hey, hey, thanks for stopping in. I am doing another look for Halloween. Um, as you guys can see from the title, this is Serving Beret Girl from the, I believe it's a very goofy movie, not just a goofy movie, but definitely correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Beret Girl, listen, mama was sassy. She served a little sex appeal, little sass, mystery, all of that. So of course I wanted to add her to my Halloween lookbook. Um, if you want to try this look, super simple. This is mostly my everyday makeup look, which is super bomb and perfect for me. So if you want to try this look, keep on watching and we're going to swap through it. We're going to start this look off with brows. And since I'm wearing a wig, I'm going to be doing a powder brow and not my normal pencil. I just don't have a pencil in the color that I would like. Um, so I'm going to be using my Morphe 3502 palette and I'll link the color in the descriptions. Um, of what I'm going to do with this eyebrow. I'm going to use a flat brush. Use this all the time. Like I said, it's just from some cheap holiday pack, but I love it. These bristles are really sturdy. Um, they move, but they're nice and stiff enough to give me some sharp lines. So I'm going to get this reddish brown, really crisp eyebrow. Now that I have this red outline how I want it, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild brow pencil, like $1.97. Um, since the wig that I'm gonna be wearing is like a reddish black, it's got some color, not the purple, kind of like her hair. Um, I'm gonna add this brown in and kind of shape this brow a little bit more, give it some tone, and then make my natural brows not look so, um, stand out so much. And she has a pretty skinny brow, so I'm trying to keep this as tight as possible. I am going to go in with concealer and clean up. I'm just going to go in with a spoolie and brush this out and blend these colors together. And then I'm gonna go back right on top of this pencil with that same reddish color. To clean these brows up, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm gonna really get in and tighten this brow up. And I'll be using the Luxie Flat Define uh, Now that I have the brows the shape that I want them, I just went ahead and brought that concealer down on my lids and I set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and then just added these pieces of tape to the edges. I know they make product for this, but tape is literally a dollar and it works so well. So I'm going to use that and I have my Morphe 35V and I'm going to use this really cute mauve color. I'll link it below, but I'm going to use that on my brow bones yeah and work it kind of down and then i'm going to go in with some purples awesome so not a whole lot of color but she actually has this one monotone lilac full lid and I'm gonna do some definition. I wanna glamour up, she's sexy, she's popping. So I just needed a color to kind of add to my blend. I'm gonna go in now with this really nice deep plum, put that all over my crease. For this, I'm gonna use the Morphe 433 brush and still in that same um, 35V palette.
Next, I'm gonna take this Morphe 441 and I'm just gonna blend this out. Now that that is all blended out, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 124 and the shade Makita from my Juvia Masquerade palette and I'm gonna fill in this middle. Now that I have Makita how I like it, I'm gonna go back in with that 441 and just blend in this crease area. Okay, the last part of this eye is gonna be the wing. Um, I want it to be sassy, but not super extra, so I'm gonna try to keep it nice and tight. Um, this is gonna help me get a pretty good up wing on that angle, and I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And the last thing on this eye is going to be to um, line this waterline. I'm going to do it in black. Uh, Smoky Eye by Rodeo. I don't think I've lined my bottom line since college. So <laughs> this is going to be fun. But I just want it to look nice and sultry. So this will add to that. Dope. And I'm going to do my face off camera so that I don't um, take up too much time here. It's going to be my normal face. I'm going to color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. I'm going to use my Maybelline foundation. I'm still using the new foundation, um, the Super Stay in 355 Coconut. And then I'll come back on here and do my highlight contour and add the puppy dog details. So I did also go ahead and do my highlight and contour off camera. Once I thought about it, it's pretty much my same everyday look. Um, Fawn, Sasha Buttercup, cut with Espresso LA Girl Pro Concealer, and then use my Black Radiance um, powder to contour. So I'm going to go in now and work on this nose. This is the same wet and wild brown that I use for my eyebrows. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of make sure this really cute dark chocolate triangle nose. And then I'm gonna to touch this pencil up with a dark brown shadow for my Morphe 3502. And then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Uh, shadow brush and I'm gonna start with a light brown from this, I'm gonna start with a light brown from this 3502 and I'm gonna work on shaping out this nose. I'm gonna over contour um, cause I want it to look puppy dog ish. who I love. Okay, now that the nose is done, I'm gonna go in with this super poppin' uh, lamb cone highlighter in luminous gold. And I'm gonna use this Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. And I really kinda wanna go there with the highlighter. I know she may not have had a highlight um, on her face as you could tell, but mama was poppin'. So if she was from right now, oh, she would be lit.
For the lip, I'm going to be using a uh, gloss. So this is the Katie Cat, Katy Perry uh, Wine Feline. And I'm going to overline my lips. She had these really pouty, nice big lips. So I'm going to run this right over my Cupid's bow. It's hard going over my Cupid's bow and not keeping it prominent because it's so deep, but we're going to make this work. Boom. So I'm going to hop off camera, grab my wig, my beret, change my shirt, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. Got my wig on, got my beret on. This wig just came from the Spirit Halloween store. It's a wig that they have with the Black Widow costume. Um, I like it. I like that it has a little bit of curl. It's kind of fun and wavy. Um, my beret just came from Walmart. I got it last fall, but I'm sure they have them out somewhere. Um, yeah, I love, this is really fun. I know they say don't be wearing them Halloween wigs after Halloween, but baby, you might catch me at your dad's house in this one, okay. Um, but this is it. I am Beret Girl getting my cosplay Halloween on. If you like this look, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my vids. And follow me on Instagram at Tiff Says Go for hella pictures and all kind of fun stuff. Thanks, guys. I'm out.